www.profitblog.com. Hi, this is Ed with ProfitBlog.com, and in this video, we're going to go over installing the BuddyPress plugin for WordPress. Now, the BuddyPress plugin is a social networking in a box. You can build a social network for your company, school, sports team, or niche community. From the plugin directory, you can click on the BuddyPress link, and we can review the description, installation notes, FAQs, and so forth. To download, click on the download button. Once it is finished downloading, we can switch over to your WordPress install. And from the dashboard, we can go down to Plugins, then Add New, then Upload, and choose File and Browse to your plugin. Select it, click Open, then click Install Now. Once it is finished uploading, you can click on the Activate Plugin link. Once the plugin has been activated, you will see a notification at the very top that says it was successfully installed and you need to run the installation wizard. So click on the installation wizard link and it will run you through the steps. You should review each of the steps and all of the components inside of all the steps. You can leave them in their default status on their components. You can switch over to pages. Well, after each one, you need to save and next. Under the Pages tab, you can tell WordPress where to display your BuddyPress content. You can have it display under a special members area, and BuddyPress will create it for you. and click Save and Next. You can adjust the permalinks to uh, display in whatever format you want. We'll select uh, Numeric, Save and Next. And number four, you can select the theme. It comes with a default theme. Click Save and Next, and then Finish and Activate. Once the wizard has finished activating, you'll be brought back to the plugin page where you can review some more settings. Under the Pages, you can adjust where you want activity streams to show up, discussion forums, and whatnot. You can indicate how you want people to register. There are more settings under the Settings tab. You can disable BuddyPress when profile syncs, disable avatar loads, and so forth. You can adjust the forum settings. And if we switch over to the live version, we can see the changes in effect. And we can see that the theme has been updated. And we can see the members area that the plugin created by clicking on the Members tab. And it'll bring us to the Members Directory tab. For more blogging tips, visit profitblog.com. Thanks for watching.